The Three Kings Ritual is a popular game that has gained much attention recently. It's often touted as a way to explore your subconscious mind and communicate with entities from other dimensions. The game has been described as creepy and intense but as a thrilling experience that can provide insights into your psyche. The game is believed to have originated in Spain, but it has spread to other countries and has been modified in various ways. The ritual involves two participants who sit in separate rooms, each with a candle, a mirror, and a door. The participants communicate with each other through a phone or walkie-talkie, and their goal is to explore their subconscious minds and share with entities that may or may not be present. Before we delve into the details of the game, it's important to note that the Three Kings ritual can be dangerous if not done correctly. Participants should take the necessary precautions and have a trusted friend or family member nearby in an emergency. The game should also not be played by anyone with a history of mental illness or easily frightened. Preparation to prepare for the game, the participants should choose a room that is quiet and free from distractions. The room should have a door that can be closed and dimly lit with only one candle. The participants should sit facing the mirror with the candle behind them and hold a small object, such as a toy or a piece of jewelry. The participants should also set up a phone or walkie-talkie to communicate with each other. The person in the king's room should have a clock or timer to keep track of the time. The game to begin the game, the participants should start at precisely 3.30 am the person in the queen's room should call the person in the king's room, and the game officially begins. The participants should introduce themselves and confirm they are ready to start. The person in the king's room should close their eyes and repeat, I am entering the mirror three times. The person in the queen's room should then ask, are you ready to enter? And the person in the king's room should respond, yes. The person in the queen's room should count down from 10 to 1, and the person in the king's room should open their eyes at the end of the countdown. The person in the king's room should then explore their subconscious mind and communicate with any entities that may be present. The person in the queen's room should ask questions and guide the person in the king's room. The game should last for precisely one hour, and at the end of the hour, the person in the queen's room should say, the game is over, and the person in the king's room should close their eyes and repeat the phrase I am leaving the mirror three times. After the game after the game is over, the participants should take some time to reflect on their experiences. They should write down any insights or revelations they may have had and discuss their experience with each other. It's important to note that the Three Kings ritual can profoundly impact the participants, and it should not be taken lightly. Participants should have a solid mental and emotional foundation and be prepared for whatever may come up during the game. 